going to move on here. Just going to kind of talk through my gear and such. So, um, talking, so crafting level 31, 27, 27. Um, gear, I have two hats. I start with this hat here. Uh, primarily for wizardry plus 66. I cast all my buffs at the beginning. And then I switch to this hat here, which is um, uh, for plus two confidence to the attack rolls. So that's what we do there. Um, this is a recent acquisition, false life plus 15. So I got that to... Uh, have a higher false life if I um, cast full strength and bears endurance my constitution is 24 my intelligence is 24 my strength is 20 and my uh, hit points is 208 which is pretty nice um, so uh, goggles I wear these for deadly plus 2 uh, competent weapon damage that's what we do, and then this is the Blade Mark Docent I got from doing the Storm Reach of Sentinel uh, series. Life Shield plus Invulnerability, that's very nice. Um, this cloak here, Intelligence plus three, uh, plus Feather Falling. Don't really care about the Feather Falling, but the Intelligence plus three gives me intelligence up to 24. Uh, ricochet Embraces or Fortification, this is very nice. It gives me Protection plus two and Fortification plus 43. Uh, with my Warforged, I'm up at 94% fortifications, which is very good. You know, uh, ideally it'd be 100 or uh, over 100, but 94 is, is really very, pretty darn close. Um, then this, when I got this False Life, I didn't need, I made the belt of False Life. I didn't need that anymore, so uh, I have found this belt. Now Double Strike plus 3, I don't know how much valuable that is, but the Natural Armor bonus is plus 3. Which is good, but um, sadly it makes this ring, the National Armor Plus 2, of that redundant. So I'm free on this ring to uh, pick up a different thing. Dexteria Plus 2, eh, you know, it's a little boost the uh, armor class and open locks, and that's, so that's there. Uh, spell Resistance 17 is very important because my will saves are very weak. Um, so we want to keep that, uh, that's the weakest of mine, so Spell Resistance helped me do it not be dancing or uh, stunned or anything like that. My boots, eh, these pretty much suck. Uh, don't ha haven't gotten anything better. Um, these gloves are really awesome in terms of reconstruction plus 64, potency plus 36. So that brings my repair skill up to 92. So when I cast uh, repair serious damage, I repair a, you know, a lot of damage. So that's, that's wonderful. You see my spell powers. Um, in ways, these gloves, ideally, I would have adventuring gloves, and then I just swap these in when I'm about to cast a spell, but I don't have any other gloves that are worthwhile, so these are, are, are very nice. Uh, so, now one thing that I've had a problem with is Fred. I've not had any way of healing Fred. You know, basically, you go until he dies, and I don't want him to die. And then once he dies, you have to go to a shrine, rest the shrine, and then you can summon them again. Don't really want that to happen. So uh, so when I upped my level at the Rogue, I really put a lot of points into Use Magic Device. Um, so now I've got Heroism and this ring here, Ring of Persuasion. And when I put that up there, um, that gives me a 40% chance of casting uh, Inflict Serious Wound. And that will heal Fred. Um, nine to well, actually 14 to 29 and so that's good so now i have a way of uh, of healing fred uh eventually uh, hopefully i'll get a plus four strength or plus four uh constitution item and once i get those then i can start casting eagle splendor and then that will take kick that up another uh, five percent so um that is all my gear so kind of weapons i have um, I have uh, for spells for casting my fireball, I've got uh, Combustive 51, which is kind of nice. My main weapon is a plus two frost uh, great sword of bleeding. I can make that a plus three, really kind of holding out for a holy weapon, which is uh, I've now have my crafting of 27 and divine. I can make a holy shard. I just need to get the good essence in order to do that. This is my... Uh, uh, my ooze weapon. So there we go. I've got my undead weapons up here. So plus two flaming great sword, lesser undead. Been about to do a bunch of undead quests. 
this is my skeleton basher. Uh, this is my ghost touch weapon for uh, incorporal, like specters and race. And then my bow. It's a plus two binding structure. So this acid effects is 2d6. And then I also get this uh, spell shock sword. And then I, I can use cast flame arrow. Um, where's that? Flame arrow here before I start a quest. And when I do that, uh, you can do that real quick. Okay. So, let's see, spells, we'll do flame arrow, flame arrow, pop that out here, cast that, flame arrow, and now I've got 500, uh, 1d6 fire, and then, okay, oh, so well, Zero's gonna just go hang out there, and then put it back for a bear. So when I equip this bow, I'm doing uh, 2 to 8 electric, 2d6 acid, um, and 1 to 6 fire. So I'm doing a lot of damage. So this is really a very efficient way of doing ranged damage. I could have, uh, you know, casting spells for doing uh, ranged damage, but like Nyax. But this does... You know, doesn't cost any mana, doesn't cost any spell points, and just um, works, does a lot of damage, surprising amount of damage, considering I don't have any, you know, that's, archery is just not a, a skill you associate with wizards. So, um, so kind of single use items, phrase of protection of fire, I rarely remember to use these. Uh, Visor of the Flesh Render Guards, Death Ward, so anytime I'm going to come up against a necromancer or somebody who cast death spells. I, I want to have that. Um, death blocks, bracers, a spell site five. I will be facing a beholder in this quest in, uh, in, at this level. Uh, and you have to have death block if you're going to face a, a beholder. And then Linus Ward goggles. Uh, so that those are there. Trying to get up close enough that I can do attack skill plus two, and then that would be my permanent um, goggles. But I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't gotten that crafting done. Uh, so, and that kind of covers my level four spells. I, um, I could cast Fire Shield, but it doesn't last very long, one minute and 21 seconds. I really like my spells to be lasting, uh, you know, 14 minutes, which is what <coughs> my quests are like, with the uh, extension on. So that's just not long enough to really make it worthwhile. I guess I could save it for final battles, but I don't want to do it. Um, Wall of Fire, Fireball seems to be working for me, so I've not been doing that. So I decided to go for Move Curse, and I will be a curse a lot more. And that's it.